All right, what is up guys? So this is going to be the first video that I put out on my own YouTube since the Olympia. So what better place to jump off than the Olympia? Um, haven't talked about it too much up until now. Uh, talked about it with Gasp a little bit. If you haven't seen that video, go check it out. It's, you know, just kind of like the raw emotional side of what I was feeling um, in the wake of it. But, you know, I wanted to tell you all, you know, the nuts and bolts of what happened on the Olympia prep, uh, you know, in my opinion, both the goods and the bads, and then uh, tell you all what we're doing going forward, headed into this off season. We're, you know, officially underway and getting started in a health diagnostic phase right now, but uh, really excited about this year. Um, I've said this a couple times now, but definitely I'm going to be competing twice this year uh, outside of the Olympia, regardless of the outcome of the first show, planning on winning it, even though, uh, you know, that is a qualification. Definitely going to be planning on doing that second show. Why? Um, I need to figure out my peak. I've missed my peak every single time I've competed, both as a professional as an amateur, in my opinion. I've never been 100% on stage. And at the level uh, that I compete at and the level that I want to excel at, uh, it, you can't be not your best. So competing twice this year, definitely taking the time to figure the peak out. And then uh, definitely taking some time right now to, you know, just really streamline uh, my digestion and, uh, you know, get my food dialed in. I'm going to do a video, you know, separate from this one on my diet moving forward, um, you know, address some things that we did last off season and what we're doing different this off season. But, you know, it's back to the Olympia. So, you know, going into the Olympia this year, um, obviously I was coming off a fourth place finish, so was qualified, uh, meaning... I did not have to compete to qualify for this year's Olympia and you know very much so after that fourth place finish it was a okay let's put our head down all year long focus on that one show and let's improve on that placing so that's you know what we did we went to work and uh, you know added a lot of good size especially where I felt it needed to go um, on my back you know looking back at you know pictures through the off season and at the start of prep um, you know, I was really happy with what we were able to do. I was my heaviest I've ever been in my life, but far from the fattest. Um, peak off season, we were, you know, 287 fast and then going to bed like 293, 294. So, um, you know, that's considerably heavier than I've ever been. And like I said, in better shape. So um, starting prep, I felt like we started in a really good spot. Um, you know, I stay pretty lean, especially on my extremities year round. Um, Definitely hold a lot of my fat and my kidney and my ass. So, you know, moving into prep, that's where we have the fat on it. Um, definitely, you know, started in a good spot and moved really well from like week 16 into 12. You know, like weight started coming down gradually. Look was improving pretty well. Um, and then, you know, around that 12 week mark, you know, we continued to kind of, you know, twist knobs and, you know, make gradual changes. It should have continued to bring me down, but we definitely you know, stalled out. And it was one of those things where, you know, at the time, you know, hindsight's always twenty twenty. but at the time, you know, we're like, okay, you know, things are never, never linear, you know, we're plugging away, you know, let's pay attention to, you know, what's happening in the gym, staying strong, you know, the scale is trending down, not as fast as we'd like, and the looks improving, but, you know, it got to the point where, you know, week six, seven came around and, you know, it was one of those things where I was starting to get uncomfortable with it. And, you know, Ben was like, it's time to, you know, step on the gas. And, you know, A, in my experience, anytime, any, not anytime, like the bigger you are, the when you go fast, the more tissue you're going to burn up. Um, you know, if you're a big guy and you, you know, walking around 270, 280 at the time and used to eating, you know, 50, 500, 6,000 calories a day, you know, having to pin it and go really low, you're going to burn up some tissue. The second thing is, and this is, you know, I'm not a big subscriber to many bro science things, but this is one that I can't explain, but I really feel like it's true because I've seen it happen a lot is, you know, the new tissue that you add is going to be the first tissue that goes whenever you're dieting, especially dieting hard. And uh, obviously all my new tissue was on my back this year. That was the main focus through the off season. And you know, where we really had, you know, everything focused around both nutrition and training. So um, I feel like, you know, having to speed up that, you know, like six or seven week mark all the way out into the show really, uh, you know, ate up a little tissue that I didn't honestly have to give up. And then, you know, as we get closer to the show, it's one of those things, it's a balancing act between, you know, continuing to push and trying to get the last little bit of body fat off. But 
the fact that you a need to freshen up because you know your systemic inflammation and prep especially towards the end between the cardio and the training and just the lack of recovery uh can be a lot so you know it's one of those things you gotta you know ride the razor's edge of you know when is it time to back off to freshen the look up and how long can we push for so you know, getting into Vegas, uh, I'm not going to lie, I was I was very confident, you know, in Vegas. Uh, definitely thought we were going to have a much better look than we had on stage. Um, and, you know, at, at this point, I don't know if that was me just being, you know, like a little delusional or if we really, you know, screwed the pooch that bad in the last week. I really don't think we screwed the pooch that bad. So maybe it was maybe a little delusional. But, um, you know, fact of the matter is, I was really happy with how we looked, you know, especially, you know, Wednesday, Thursday morning. And then, um, you know, we made some mistakes in the last two days. And I've talked about this in that gas video, and I've talked about it a little bit on my social media at this point. But, you know, I don't really know if we can call them mistakes with it being Ben and I's first prep together. Um, this is the first time we've ever done it, start to finish together. Uh, the first time he's ever had the reins entirely. And... Um, you know, I say he having the reins entirely, he very much so, you know, takes my input and listens to me. So I'm not trying to pawn this off on him in any way, shape, or form. It's uh, both of us in that. So, you know, I don't know if we can call the mistakes of being our first time. We definitely learned some lessons that we're really excited about taking into those two shows that I was talking about at the beginning of this video. So, um, yeah, all in all, the Olympia this year, um, really weird taste in my mouth about it you know uh, I placed seventh in the world so that's something to be excited about and celebrated but you know obviously slid three places um, and you know so I'm not gonna say it was a failure but it definitely wasn't a success in my mind um, as far as the brass tacks about how I thought I looked on stage um, you know it was far from my best you know that I feel I could have been but I think it's the best physique that I've ever put on a bodybuilding stage. Um, you know, that's a, a testament to the strength of the lineup that we had this year. You know, the lineup was a lot stronger this year. Um, you know, a lot of guys really brought it. We had the additions of, you know, Derek and, you know, he brought it. So, you know, a couple new faces and then, you know, just the whole quality of the show is a lot higher. So uh, not happy with how I looked. Um, but, you know, headed into this off season, you know, you can either just stay on the ground or get back up and get back to it. And, you know, we've gotten back up and gotten back to it. Um, and, you know, priorities this off season and um, I'm saying I'm a lot. Sorry, I'll give me shit for that. I swear uh, I'm trying. So this off season, main priorities continue to add, you know, the size that I need to my lower back. Uh, you know, both the erectors and my lower lat, you know, um, everything needs to be thicker, but that is a main area of focus. Um, in addition to that, definitely placing a huge emphasis because, you know, this is going to be my first off season. I was talking about this with someone the other day. This is going to be my first off season where, you know, everything else is, you know, big enough. I don't need to be chasing size, you know, to the point where I'm, you know, hanging over the kitchen sink sick from how full I am all day. So this off season, you know, we're going to place a huge emphasis on, you know, eating more whole foods, yes, but, you know, eating foods and supplementing in a way that we really, um, you know, optimize my digestion and minimize my waistline. So, you know, going to continue training abs like I have been, um, something, you know, that I started doing after the Olympia. Uh, I've noticed it made a huge difference already, and, you know, my foot's so far down my mouth, I'm having a hard time removing it, is doing vacuums daily. I didn't really think it'd make that big of a difference, but you know, I've been doing them every single morning and it's made a big difference already in a month. So, you know, gonna continue, you know, beating that drum and just checking all the boxes daily and doing what's uh, in my control as well as I can do it. At the end of the day, that's all we can do. So looking forward to this off season. Um, you know, last year wasn't a year wasted. I'm looking forward to showing last year's work this year. Uh, won't have enough water in my body that you can't see it. So, <laughs> anyways, hope you all enjoyed this little update. Um, this kind of marks the little kickoff of me getting back on YouTube pretty regularly. We're going to bring back the Tuesday tips. We're going to bring back the questions and answers. Uh, I'm going to bring back, you know, posting all the training footage regularly. Um, definitely going to be doing a video over the new split that I'm training on uh, very, very soon. And definitely being over my diet very, very soon. So those are the two big ones that I wanted to, you know, hit after this little update. So keep an eye out for those. Uh, as always, appreciate you following along. If you like this video and want to get updates on when we drop the next one, be sure to subscribe. 
Uh, appreciate you. See you next time.